I don't tick, and so I'm the shit, just like a presidential. I roll around, the time is hours, it's really hours. Take off the H, it's really hours. You know the crib on the water now. The Maybach stay watered down. Project niggas giving orders now. The gold presidential just to sport around. I'm from the era of fitted caps and rental cars. Dope pushers with ambition and pretty broads. Walking on Jewish marble, hand painted the ceiling. Happy Hanukkah, nigga. It's a wonderful feeling. Got my seats on the wood. Players giving me dap. Leo, I like how I move. Wanna write in my lap. I made a few meals. Ain't mentioning me. Went and bought a new crib. We could while they release. Bitches, the king coming. Billy Jean thumping. I need to hear the trumpet. It's mean and machine gunning. Ain't missing nothing. Got a sip and something. I could ship or something. You know that December coming. I don't tick, so I'm the shit. Just like a presidential. I roll around. Hey, the time is hours. It's really hours. Hey, take off the H. It's really hours. Hey. Put, 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 put your rolly in the sky and wave them high. Put your rolly in the sky and wave them high. Put, put your rolly in the sky and wave them high. Music. Get money. I'm a young fly nigga, strapping for my era. I be touching hella bread like I'm working at Panera. Got a bad bitch with me, good green with me. Traveling around the world, but I'm coming from the city where Kanye did it, Lupe did it. Now Rocky Fresh is the next to get it. Fresh pair Jordans and my white socks fit it. New gold road. What's going on, TTC? YouTube family. John's Mafia. It's your boy Rayvon from Virginia. Getting home from work and trying to sit back and look at what's been going on the past uh, two weeks, man, with this uh, free agency thing. Jerry Reese, you know, might I add, let me say very, very good fucking job, man. Great fucking job. Um... You know, first let me start off by saying, you know, I, I thought that Eli's window uh, might have been anywhere from three to four years. But seeing how things have been going and how we've been uh, the last two years <clears throat> really spending money in free agency and getting, um, you know, a lot of players in free agency trying to build this roster up, um, which we normally don't do as Giants fans. We know, you know, it, not since we had Jerry Reese, basically Ernie, of course, of course, he did, you know, dibbled and dabbed a little bit, but not as much as Jerry Reese. Jerry Reese goes out and he's he's not scared to spend money to actually bring talent in here. And might I add that he's probably one of the better GMs in the league at getting talent in free agency and actually getting them to come to his team and be effective and be productive. Uh, once he signs free agents It doesn't happen a lot of times You know for a lot of other teams So that's something that's very rare But you know the last two years All the money that we've been spending And how everything is adding up with You know JPP, Olivier Vernon And Snacks uh, contracts In and all at the same year It's looking more and more like You know Eli maybe got like a two year Or three year window um, You know Odell's contract is coming up um, after this year and I'm pretty sure they're going to use the fifth year option and then that's going to carry over into another year to where we have to worry about Landon Collins as well um, we still have to worry about Justin Pugh and, Richburg, uh, and Western Richburg so I can see some things adding up to where something is going to be done I'm not sure if we're going to be able to keep everybody but I'm pretty sure about fucking Collins and goddamn Odell for sure but as far as Pugh and uh, Western Richburg one of them might and we might end up losing one of them. It depends, man. But um, like I said, man, we've seen some, you know, I, I'm really not bringing no breaking news to everybody. If you're a real Giants fan and you've been keeping up with everything. But the, um, you know, we fucking restructured Dwayne Harris's contract um, for half a million dollars, which was greatly needed. You know, I they didn't want to take too much from him because he was already complaining. But the good thing is that we got to keep him. Which he's a, you know, a, a fucking Pro Bowl gunner uh, back there for us. Punt returner, you know, such, so forth and so on. And we added a fucking new fucking, uh, you know, 
special teams ace and, and Valentino Blake. And uh, if you know anything about Valentino Blake, you know he's he's pretty fucking good. I'm surprised that he bounces he bounces around the league as much as he does because he makes plays, you know, and and he's productive when he's on these teams. But he's usually in there for depth, and he's never a starter really on the team. And that's other than when he was with Pittsburgh. And uh, once again, that's what you got right here with him again. Um, now the DJ Fluker signing, DJ Fluker signing, I think was really just a depth signing. Um, he does have starting experience, which I told y'all with Jerry Reese aim was uh, the start free agency. He looks for young, relatively young players that's kind of unproven and still has a high ceiling that can be reached if they got the right coaching. And they brung up right. So I think he was a depth sign. And, you know, Marshall Newhouse. Left. I don't think. I think John Jerry is going to be starting at right guard unless something else happens. And we need to find a right tackle. But Fluker is versatile. And he can play quite a bit. You know, I think he can play the right tackle. And he can play right guard. Um, Y'all know we re-signed Will Ty. That was a good start to free agency. I mean, you know, to getting our own free agencies back. Red Ellison, of course, is going to be, you know, taking Will Johnson's position slash Larry Donnell. So, you know, that's just a tight end added to the situation, and he's a very good blocker. So, you know what, you know, is going to go on with him, man, um, with the offensive line to help out the offensive line. Um, Brandon Marshall doesn't really need to be spoken about. You know, everybody knows what, what that situation is to take pressure off of Odell. Take pressure off of Odell. And fucking allow for Odell to, you know, and Shepard, basically, to get honest coverage without you motherfuckers being able to double team them or come over the top. Because then you're going to have a whole nother headache, basically. Eli's not going to just sit there and eyeball fucking Odell and throw him the ball. So, I hope y'all ready for the shit that's about to go down on offense this year. The shit is going to be crazy. Um, what else we got? Um, I don't know much about Sean Drone. Um, other than the fact that he's 29, he is a veteran. He's been in the league for a little while. He um, he has a very good running style. I like his running style. He's very strong with the ball. Um, he can catch the ball out of the backfield. Um, I think he was a piece that was added because of the fact that we got two running backs on the roster that is coming off of injuries, which is Shane Vereen, back-to-back -back injury uh, years, and also Darkwa. Um, I think he has back-to-back -back injury, you know, injury-prone years, too. So um, it, they may not make it through OTAs or training camp. So that is, you know, the mindset of the New York Giants right there. You get some security just in case um, and get him on the roster. Now, another thing that's interesting is that Jerry Reese now, other than Hankins, has almost completed the fact that he's brought back everybody on this defense. You know, camaraderie means a lot. The important pieces in this defense. The pieces that a lot of pieces came over last year and they were looking at it like they had to jail and get to know each other. Well, now everybody that Jerry Reese has brought back knows each other. Camaraderie. Now it's a building step and building block. Something that other teams in the NFC East probably can't sit there and even say because they're going to have a bunch of rookies coming over and, and, you know, put in certain positions that rookies normally are not put in, you know, unless they're first round talent. But, um, you know, he he's put us, Jerry Reese has put us in a position basically to where we have three, you know, glaring holes as far as uh, positions on the depth chart that we need to worry about. And that's O-line, of course, running back and linebackers. And, uh, you know, we're going to have a lot of, in the draft, we're going to have a lot of fucking, you know, as Jerry Reese called, best available player uh, picks that we can probably be able to pick up just because of the position he's put us in with uh, drafting uh, fucking Paul Perkins out of the fifth round uh, last year, who's considered to be in a starting role this year. You look at B.J. Goodson, who's considered to be this year in a starting role. If not, you know, he's going to be very good depth. Um, you look at the fact that, you know, like I said, even... With uh, Darian Thompson coming back at fucking safety for us. We got Andrew Adams back there. Um, before free agency started, we added, uh, I thought was very interesting, we added Raheem Moore, um, who was a free agent that got let go from the fucking, um, who was it? The uh, Cleveland Browns, I believe. He got let go from the Cleveland Browns. I'm not exactly sure what happened. He's only 26 years old. He still has very good potential. Very good potential. Um, you know, the importance of bringing players back that was on your team like Kenan Robinson, uh, JPP, who now is locked up long-term, long-term. Y'all got to worry about him in the NFC East quarterbacks 
for a minute with his eight finger having ass or seven, whatever the fuck. Y'all can say what you want to. The man go put the work in and make sure that that contract, he go make sure that every bit of that money that we paid to him is worth it. Y'all go see, just like y'all was talking shit last year about all our free agents. Every year we get free agents. Y'all talk shit, but we actually show y'all how to fucking use them free agents and do what you're supposed to do. Um, Man, like I said, it's been great. It's been great. Who else we got? We got Geno Smith. Geno Smith now, I think that he was assigning for that one year so he can learn under Eli and get as much in. Now, if he actually gets a chance to play him, um, you know, he's going to play in preseason. If he plays good in preseason and they like the way he progresses throughout uh, the season as far as practicing and keeping his head uh, into the plays and everything like that and staying ready, he may have a chance to actually, uh, you know, be Eli's heir apparent. I think that's the reason why he's over here. They're going to actually take a closer look at Gino for one year. So we're going to see how that works out. Um, you know, fucking who else we got? We got uh, Jonathan Hankins, of course. You know, Jonathan is being stubborn right now because he really wants that money that he feel he deserves. And I, you know, I feel he deserves it too. He's a good, you know, defensive uh, tackle, interior defensive tackle, but um right now the market is just not you know good for him so the best thing for him to do right now is just to take a one-year deal with us and then try again next year build off of this year try again next year and put yourself back in that potluck again next year man but uh we yeah yeah we've been putting in work man putting in work um shout out to whoever it is in the fucking front office you know the giants who's uh being so creative and getting these contracts done and, and clearing up cap space and doing all this stuff because as I believe I heard at the beginning of the free agent shit that we didn't have that much money to spend. It was several times that I heard we had the least amount of money to spend out of everybody. But every time I turn around, we making moves here. We making moves there. We picking up somebody here. Somebody coming to visit there. So this shit is crazy, man. This shit is crazy. But we go get it in. I just wanted to, you know, recap a little bit of what was going on. And um, speak my mind on a little bit of everything, man. But um, yeah, hopefully we get um, Hankins, uh, you know, signed, re-signed, and um, that'll complete that'll complete the players that I wanted re-signed this year. Um, and all of them, all of them. So like I said, I can't say no more, man. I can't say nothing bad about anything that's been went on. And we ain't even been into the draft yet to see what talent we will get in the draft. Um, they gave a private workout uh, today to Dante uh, Foreman from Texas. We looking for a power back. It's going to be so much talent on this fucking team this year. And I tried to tell everybody. You know, Stork Prime, shout out to you, Stork. My dude, ain't seen or heard from you in a little bit, man. But I told you about Jerry Reese, man. Told you. We don't play no games. So let's go this year, man. Everybody get y'all shit together, motherfucking all you other bed makers in the motherfucking NFC East. You sons of bitches. Y'all make sure y'all keep y'all shit tight this year, goddammit. Don't disappear and be disloyal like the Redskin fans. And fucking don't show up no fucking more until the team get a, a fucking good team that can fucking win. Then you want to show up out the blue and yap at every fucking body. Anyways, this your boy. I just wanted to recap, man. Your boy Rayvon from Virginia. Signing out. Gone.